Good morning, folks. We've got looks at solar activity. We'll review the major weather system that hit the eastern U.S. last night. There's some outstanding thought papers, including on electrogravity, the geomagnetic reversal during the Genesis period, and space weather and human health. The last 24 hours on our star had a few minor flares, but none were major or of long duration. There are a number of plasma filaments on the Earth-facing disk, a few sunspot groups, with another turning into view, and of course, the large dark coronal hole. We have entered the phase of sunspot maximum where large low-latitude coronal holes will be seen regularly for the next year or two. This one will face Earth tonight, starting the earthquake watch, with its solar wind due to arrive middle of the week. We'll have our eyes on it. Folks, you likely heard about the major tornado in Tennessee and other significant storm impacts across this line of serious events that is still churning here in the early morning hours. It was a traditional pressure and air differential driven storm that veteran observers will recognize. Low pressure cell in Canada drove a convergence tail of different air masses to its south, where the temperature, moisture, and electric potential differed greatly in the colliding winds and the equalization process released a major amount of energy. Godspeed to those affected. First article up today is an amazing thought piece on electric influence on gravity. Veterans who have been with us for a while since the cosmology days and even those who saw our recent video with the electric experiments on water will appreciate this one as it dives into the potential impact of electric forces on attraction. Next is an excellent one out of Iran following up a previous study the team did on space weather and human health. They hit the cardiac system, psychology, blood parameters, pregnancy, cancer. It's actually hard to properly study the data and not find such a correlation as so many have done before. Last but not least, Dr. Baumgartner has been publishing on this topic for 40 years. He and colleagues have identified many pieces of evidence surrounding the Genesis flood and claim it comes with evidence for a shift in the magnetic poles and magnetic field of the Earth, as we have covered several times more recently as well. This would have likely been the China event from recent published papers, but we have also called the NOAA event at times. If you missed it yesterday, our store closes down every holiday season for a couple weeks, and that will happen again here in a few days. The textbook is sold out, but my newest book and all of Cat's children's books are available. We'll reopen, as always, at the start of the new year. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.